everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a clean and decorate with you all. I am going to be decorating for Memorial Day slash summer slash 4th of July slash just having a little bit of Americana around for a little bit. I might leave it up for Memorial Day this month, take it down for June because Pride Month, maybe decorate for that and then go ahead and pop it back up for 4th of July because why not? But I wanted to share all of that with you all. I have some DIYs that I'll just explain. I won't actually do a tutorial on and then I want to share with you some of the arrangements or decor setups that I've done. But first, I want to go ahead and clean and then we'll save all the decorating for the end. So if you did want to join for just the decorating, I'll go ahead and leave the timestamp right here on the screen for you all. But if you want to join me for some cleaning motivation and get cleaning with me, then I will go ahead and show you around my very messy home. Very messy. Before we get started, let me go ahead and show you before of everything. Here is the kitchen. I just have some clutter up on the counter. My husband had already hand washed some dishes, so there's not much to do there. And then this side's pretty clean. The counters just need a real good wipe down. However, this bar cart is really, really gross. It doesn't look like it from afar. But if I get you a little closer, you can see that there's actually some sticky rings here and then so much dust. Look at that. So we'll need to tackle that, get that all nice and clean, probably dust everything on there. Then my desk, which is also my office, is kind of a disaster because we don't have a lot of storage over here. I have those two boxes that are on the top of the desk and then those two drawers, which mostly hold files. And you can kind of see I'm just making it work. And then living room needs mostly just some straightening up. We still have our carpet cleaner sitting there. I got a cat laying there. This was a failed Dollar Tree haul that I filmed that still needs to get cleaned up. So you won't ever see that video. And then I just need to do some decorating on the media console, otherwise it's pretty clean. And then over here in this white chair, you'll see that there's a blanket for the cats. And then this ottoman was actually a Facebook Marketplace buy and we vacuumed it, we got all the pills off and we cleaned it with the carpet cleaner and we're not sure if we're gonna keep it, we might resell it. It's just a little tall for our couch, but we're also still adjusting. And then we'll definitely need to pick up all of these cat toys that are literally everywhere. And then here's one final last look at the before before we get this looking all nice and clean. Starting out in the kitchen, I am just putting away the dishes that have had time to dry here. Thankfully, my husband had already cleaned these, so this makes my job so much easier. Yeah. And then I'm taking what few things are in the sink and I am placing them into the dishwasher and then because it is actually pretty full, I'm not sure we could even fit much more in there, I decided I'm going to go ahead and start the dishwasher as well, especially since my husband's not home to do it and this is typically his chore. So I decided I'd get that done real quick for him. Moving on to the other side of the kitchen, I am just going to wipe down all the counters. This, like I said, really wasn't that messy so this should take no time at all. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Stay hydrated if you're cleaning with me. And then I'm just putting away my stuff. I'm being honest, all of that was just my stuff sitting on the counter because I'm the worst when it comes to putting my stuff away right when I get home. But just like the other counter, I'm going to spray it down. And for all my surfaces, I am using the Method Antibacterial Spray in the Wildflower scent. I definitely am getting close to the end of this bottle, so I'm super excited to try a new brand or scent for you all. I wanted to show you that these flowers were like two weeks old. I got these for chance for closing a show a little bit ago and they're still trekking on. They look gorgeous and beautiful and in full bloom and so I'm just like this is so nice. Take 
take my Wyman stainless steel wipes and I'm going to wipe down my microwave, oven, dishwasher, and fridge with these. I know that Wyman also does offer a spray, so when I run out of these wipes, I definitely want to try out the spray with a microfiber cloth, just because it's a little more eco-friendly that I'm not wasting any of these cloths and putting it into a landfill. Here's what the wipe looked like after I was all done and I decided it's time to get comfy so I changed my clothes. And then last thing I need to do in the kitchen is just vacuum up all the little crumbs that are on the floor and then also vacuum down the carpet. Next section is the office slash desk area. It's not really an office, it's just a desk against the wall, but Chance and I have been talking about it for a while and we would really love to try and make a two bedroom, two bath work next time we lease an apartment. Our current lease is going to be up in September, so that is something we have been checking the market for because it would be really nice if we could take this whole setup, put it into a bedroom, add some storage with the extra closet in a bedroom, or even one of those apartments that have a little den. So just know that's a goal of ours for this year. We're gonna be working towards that and basically I just had to just declutter I didn't even change camera angles it was just so overwhelming I was like let me just get as many things off as I can put it in a home even if it's a temporary home and by temporary I mean like it can live there for more than like a week not just like on the counter as a temporary home and then this bag here is a reusable shopping bag that I use to put craft supplies or decor or any item that I'm using for an upcoming video or that I have ideas for and then what I'm doing here is I'm taking out all of the seasonal stuff, putting it to the side because if you saw my 10 minute cleaning video, which I will link up in the eye for you and in the description box below, you saw that we had a box that was half full that we put um, holiday decor in. So I'm going to be putting that decor into the holiday stuff. And then now that that's done, I am lighting my Lush Amazon candle from Target. This scent is so nice and clean. And then moving on to that disastrous bar cart. First, I just took every single item off the bar cart. There's lots of different pieces here. And then I'm going to take my Swiffer duster and just dust in between every little thing, get it really good, even the wheels. This gets a lot of cat hair on it just because the bottom part especially is so low to the ground, the cats can rub up against it and their hair can get on there. So that's why it gets so dusty. And then I'm just taking some glass cleaner and a reusable paper towel that I got in that four pack from the Dollar Tree. I shared this product with you all in my kitchen deep clean and then I also shared with you tons of Dollar Tree cleaning products and I told you which ones were awesome and which ones really weren't worth it. And then now that I have everything wiped down on the bottom, I'm moving up to the top and just repeating the exact same steps. And this is the final look at the bar core, all nice and clean. We will come back and decorate that in a little bit. Moving on to the living room, I am taking all of the blankets and the pillows off of the couch and my laptop, and I am vacuuming it down. I'm getting all the crumbs, any dust, cat hair, and this sounds really gross, but even a little bit of cat litter. It gets stuck in their paws, and then when they jump up here, it just, we have little granules of cat litter in here. So definitely wanted to vacuum that up, and then I'm even fluffing this one little cushion, and then I'm just putting the pillows back on and the blanket. And now I'm going to pick up the endless supply of cat toys. Now I'm just going to vacuum the ottoman we got from Facebook Marketplace and then pick up my big mess on the living room floor. It looks like a little kid came home and just made a mess, but really it was just me. It's fine. And here is the final look of the living room. 
Now let's get on to decorating. First thing I'm going to do here is ask my wonderful husband to help me hang this banner because I love that he's a little taller than me so he can help me with this. And then we just use some string to tie it up in the middle. This is how it's looking. It looks super cute. You can't see some of the stars because it's a little overexposed but I really love the way this turned out. Now we're going over the bar cart. I'm adding these paper straws and then I want to take this bouquet at the bottom and go ahead and add to it. So I have these royal blue berries and then I also have these glittery red vines and I'm going to just take little bits of it put it into the whole bouquet just to try and make it look a little more patriotic you are not like the others a cool kind of melody you rattled my cage without warning kept it up right till the morning a new kind of ecstasy you found a different side of me the one i'd like to be a different side of me yeah all right and now i'm moving on to the little one and i'm just doing the same thing adding those little red picks and some of the little berries a different side of me yeah Moving back to the bar cart, I'm taking this Dollar Tree sign and then I put a little DIY book cover on the bar cart book, put the bouquet of flowers in. Then I did the same thing with a book on the media console and then I took some pipe cleaners instead of the berries and the vines to add to this bouquet just because this bouquet already has so much going on and then I'm taking a little American flag and putting it in the vase with it. Then I have a red Christmas candle here but it did originally have a snowflake lid. Cause you make it real, yeah. Hey guys, so it is the next day. We pretty much finished decorating for 4th of July slash Memorial Day. Basically, the deal with these decorations is I will most likely leave these up for Memorial Day, take them down probably early June, give the house a second to breathe, and then I'll probably put them back up for 4th of July. Just because two straight months of Americana decor seems like a bit much for me and my style. But let me go ahead and show you everything. Also, sorry about my crazy hair. Anyways, first thing I want to show you is on the door so let's head outside all right the first piece of the decor that i wanted to share with you was this american flag door banner that i made it's a little crooked right now i have to adjust the knot but basically i took a one dollar banner from the dollar tree and then a one dollar bouquet of white roses took the rose tops off and glued them onto the top layer just to make it super feminine and then i have this command hook on my door that just kind of stays there all year long so i just hung it up there and here's how it looks. Now let's head back inside because I live in Florida and it's 95 degrees outside. And now walking back in, I'm going to go ahead and show you the kitchen. Here is the kitchen and you guys know this little tray area. I use this to decorate for all the different seasons. And so this is what it's looking like. I have these white flowers here. I keep these white flowers in the house all year long. They are like a silk foam flowers. I have talked about these before in my videos, but basically I took those berries, those vines, and the pipe cleaners, just like I talked about earlier in the video. I kind of was going for a whimsical look, and if I'm being honest, I don't know if I love it still, or if I'm just adjusting, or maybe these aren't the right flowers for it, but I'm not too mad about it because it is temporary, and then I took this banner from one of the Dollar Tree banners, and I separated it off the string and just put it under there just to add a little bit more red into this otherwise pretty neutral like area. Then we have some dishes in the sink because this is obviously a different day. And then here I made a DIY firecracker. I found this idea on Pinterest, but I took a red gift box from the Dollar Tree, used a stencil, added some stars, and then I glued on top a silver pipe cleaner that I had twisted up to look like the wick of the firecracker. And then since this was a lot of red, I wanted to style it next to my salt and pepper shakers that are blue and white. So I just think this looks really good all together here. And then right over here, I just stuck an American flag into the utensil pot can container thing we have. I know there's a name for it, I just don't remember. And then right behind me, we have a sign that we got for a wedding that has our last name on it. And I tried to hang three of the little banner triangles up here, but the one in the middle just kept falling off, didn't want to stay, so I wasn't making it. So we just have the two blue ones, and I think that looks just fine. Moving on to the desk, I didn't do anything but put this American flag in the cup because I had an extra one I didn't want it to go to waste, so I just put it there. And then here are some Mother's Day and Father's Day gifts, so 
So we're from the Father's Day one, but this is what we have so far. And then here is that Frame You Saw Me DIY in my previous video. I will also link that for you. Then I have some filming stuff. My tripod's obviously still here because I was just filming today. I'm filming a video right now that you're seeing. Then in the living room, I went ahead and I added this navy blue blanket. I switched it out with the marble one so that we can have some more color in the living room. And I think it looks really nice, especially since these pillows are rather neutral. We do have plans to dye them blue and pink, but until then, this is fine. And then obviously the banner that I showed you a little earlier. I think this looks so cute. Always hang banners in big windows. Super, super cute. Then over here at the media console, I have my golden baby Yoda right on top really fitting honestly for us and our personality then i have another one of those banners and then i made a diy book cover for this coffee table book that we have here always and then underneath it's just normal decor because i ran out of fourth of july decor so i just put normal stuff there and then in this bouquet we have the pipe cleaners in there and the american flag i did steam this flag but obviously it's a little wrinkly just from sitting in the vase and then down here I had a red Christmas candle that I wanted to bring in just because of the color, but it had a snowflake lid. So I decided I would just switch the lid to this one here that has lots of pearls and glitter and rhinestones on top, just so it's a little more modern and glam and it doesn't look like it's seasonal. And then I stole a vase from the bedroom and added some blue flowers just to bring some more blue into the area. Moving on to the flower cart here, we added some red and white striped straws into this cup. I know the Dollar Tree also has navy blue and white, so you can pay either one or both if you wanted to mix them. I have another banner triangle, and then down here I have this sign that says bold stripes, bright stars, and brave hearts. And then it's actually standing up because I put a San Pellegrino can right behind it. It was all by itself, so I figured that was enough. Here's a final overview of the whole entire apartment and its decor for Memorial Day later this month and for 4th of July later this summer. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below for more content. Make sure to go ahead and follow me over on my Instagram. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out.